Hey everybody, I just got a really good query in from Mike. Uh, he watched the video I produced recently on uh, over using the fascia tool to create an overhanging uh, roof finish over the the, uh, the the gutter at your eaves. And he asked what solution we have to do the same sort of effect, but on the gable wall. So in a lot of modern design type houses, we, we, you know, we like to have a flush gable or flush eaves and the Revit uh, system of joining roof to wall doesn't work so well. Uh, so here's the scenario, okay? So we have our roof and our basic footprint of a building there. So our roof in plan is set to be flush with the wall, okay? On all four sides, right? So when I select the, the wall, and I can do that by selecting one by one and use my control button, or I can just tab, find all the walls and select. And I use my attach, sorry, attach top to base to the roof. I've got a fixed uh, working nicely at the the eaves because I can set the fascia height there to you know twenty five millimeters right, uh, but it it just won't do it for me in the gable. Now we could uh, detach that wall from the roof and uh, edit the profile and, and create the shape, but it won't join very well with the with the front walls and with the you'll have a problem here at the at the corners. It just won't work out. Okay, so. Profile doesn't work. Doesn't give us unless you can hide the corners with the uh, faces or something. It's it's not it's not a great solution. Uh, probably maybe the best solution actually is uh, at least for visually is to model two roofs, right? So you have a roof structure. So you, you model them separately. So your roof structure sits inside the wall, and then you model your roof finish uh, that. Uh, laps over the wall and that's uh, attached to the in section and it's attached to the structure and that's great visually and it, the only problem with it maybe would be scheduling uh and tagging and so on um it might create some problems for you but at least it'll be parametric and it'll pull and push with the walls yeah, so it may be the best solution but i probably don't need to show you how to do that how to create a roof twice <laughs> okay so i'm going to show you another solution okay we're going to use a model in place uh void sweep uh, which i don't like to do if i can avoid it because model in place families don't they're not parametric really they don't move with the geometry uh, you have to edit it uh, and then it kind of skips and finds where it was uh, supposed to be aligned to uh, but if you have your your footprint set it's uh, this will work okay okay so we're going to create a, a profile so file new family uh, profile metric profile there it is open and I'm going to just set some constraints here. So reference planes here and here. So I want this to be aligned to the, the, the top corner of it. So height and width. Select the dimension. Select your create parameter. Call that one height. Okay. And select the dimension. Select create parameter. Call this guy width. Okay. Now the height you'll see in a minute is it's actually not that important what it is. I'm just going to set it to 300. Okay. Once it's deep enough, uh, it, it doesn't really matter uh, if it goes past where I'm cutting. Uh, the width is the width of my wall in the project. So I have to know what that is. You have to measure yours. So I'm going to take the width of the external finish and the, the structure of the wall and that happens to be 325. Now I can change this in the project. It's just quicker that, that I know the parameters I want now do it here in the family so I can just load it straight in. So save it as something. Save as family. Uh, go to, oh, I'm already in there, am I? My profiles and roof, yeah. So we call this, we call this uh, void, okay. Save. All right, and load that into project. Ooh, do you know why I can't? <laughs> because I didn't actually put the lines in. Okay, so go back into the family, open, cable void, rookie error there, line, in the crate tab, line, uh, I'm gonna use my pick line and have the lock ticked, pick the four reference planes, and trim to corners, bum ba dum bingity bing, MVMity, there it is. Okay, this time it works. So escape, escape, load into project and close. 
Yes. Override existing. Yes, please. Okay, so back in the architecture tab, I'm going to go to component, model in place, select the category as roof because it needs to interact with the roof. Okay, roof, call it, I don't know, gable, void. You have to call it something different because it, we've already got that family name. Gable void cut, let's say. Okay, so just a reminder, I set my fascia height to 25. Okay. So I'm going to leave 25 here as well. You can decide what dimensions are working for you. I'm just showing you the, the principle. Okay, so void forms, uh, void sweep. I'm going to pick path, okay, because make it a little bit more parametric. And pick 3D edges, okay. So that guy, and that guy. Escape, escape. I'm just going to pull it out beyond the fascia. Maybe I'll just leave it without doing that on the other side so I can show you why and go back in and fix it then. Uh, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select profile. What do we call that guy? Gable void or something, was it? Gable void, that's it there. All right, so it's gone in a strange orientation. So we're going to rotate that 90 degrees. Nope. Or minus 90. There we are. Okay, so that'll cut the whole roof there. What we want to do now is drop that down 25. So it's cutting, it's leaving 25 millimeters and cutting the rest. Okay, for the depth of the wall, the depth being from here to here, the depth of the wall. So, uh, was that Y or X minus 25? Six. So, minus 25. Bye. Okay, you see it? Okay, and cut. Select the void. Select the roof. I selected the wall today. Undo. Select the void. Select the roof. There we go. Now, see what I mean? If I didn't run the sweep path just out a little bit, that's that's the result you get. So I'm going to escape, escape, that sweep again. Edit sweep. Pick path. I'm just going to pull that just out beyond the face. Okay. Okay. And okay. So there it is. Like, you find that useful? I think it's a decent enough solution, isn't it? You, there are limitations. Your your fascia will have to be kind of um, a maximum in relation to the, the depth of your, your barge board there. Uh, but you'll figure that out. Okay, I hope that was useful. If, uh, if it was, just give it a like and pass it on. Thanks.